Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across a run DLL startup error that says that there was a problem starting a module and it could not be found. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial for you guys and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu and just type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back a registry editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and left click on yes. Now before you do anything to the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if you ever have to come back from the backup, I will show you guys how to do that. So you just want to go ahead and left click on the file tab, left click on export, make sure export range is selected to all. And for file name, usually the date in which you're making the backups is usually a smart move. So once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and just off call and save. Make sure you save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import it back in, you just put left click on the file tab, left click on import, and then just navigate over to the file. So pretty straightforward and explanatory. So once you've done that, now you want to go and expand the H key current user folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. You want to then go ahead and do the same thing now for the software folder. Expand that one as well. And now that you've expanded software, you want to go and expand Microsoft. Now you want to expand Windows. Current version, so expand current version now. And now you want to look for a folder that says run. Go ahead and left on that one time. Now there should be something on the right side that says next live and you want to go ahead and right click on that and then left click on delete. If you get any confirmed value delete messages you want to go ahead and left click on yes for that. At this point you should be able to close out of the registry editor which suggests restarting your computer and hopefully you should be good to go. So as always thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.